Cubs and White Sox taking the Crosstown Cup to the north side of Chicago. Cubs leading the series 1-0. The teams were rained out on Tuesday night. This game, all Deanna Navarro. 1-1 game in the second, and Navarro takes John Denks deep and gone. Fourth home run of the year. The solo shot puts the Cubs in front 2-1. Meanwhile, on the hill, Scott Feldman settling in after giving up an early run, facing Adam Dunn in the top of the third, and he gets Dunn swinging. Then in the fourth, he strikes out Dion Vicieto looking. Next batter, Connor Gillespie, he goes down swinging. Feldman strikes out three straight and seven on the day. Bottom of the fourth now, Navarro stepping in again, this time with one on. Deep fly ball to left in the corner. This ball's back toward the wall. Gone! Deonor Navarro with his second homer of the day. This one comes with a man on, and the Cubs all of a sudden lead 4-1. to one. WGN Radio on the call. It's the first multi-home run game of Navarro's career. Meanwhile, Feldman still going strong in the sixth. The 4-2 to two game, he strikes out Dunn for the third time, and then... He gets Vicieto again, swinging Feldman, six innings pitched, gives up just the two earned runs. Seventh inning, Navarro stepping to the dish again, this time with two runners on, and this time from the left side of the plate. Amagroso ready and deals. Here's a drive to right. Deep, it's got a chance in the corner. This ball is gone. All the way to Sheffield Avenue. A hat trick for Deanna Navarro, and the Cubs have broken it wide open. It is 9-2. to two. WGN Radio again on the call. Navarro saving the best for last as he sends one out of Wrigley. The Cubs win it 9-3. to three. They've outscored the White Sox 16-3 to three in their two wins. Navarro doubles his home run total, and he sets a career high with six RBIs. He's the first Cub to hit three homers in a game since Aramis Ramirez in 2010, and he's the first Cub to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game since Mark Bellhorn in 2002.